is part of my 12 DIYs of Christmas series for 2017. In this video I'll show you how to make these adorable Christmas candles. I really love how this project turned out. You can put a whole bunch of them out on a dish, light them up and watch them burn, I guess. If you want to see more Christmas DIYs like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos, follow me on social media at Katrinaosity, check out my podcast at mdxpods.com, and if you enjoy this video, please click the like button, it really helps my videos get seen. For this project, you'll need some wax paper, a pan, something to melt your wax in that's taller than your pan, cookie cutters, a knife, toothpicks, tea light candles, and crayons. Begin by taking your tea lights apart. Pull the bottom off and then use a knife to pry the wick out and save that for later. You'll want to melt enough wax to fill your cookie cutters. I melted four of these just by setting my wax melting container in the pan of boiling water until the wax had a chance to slowly melt. Then pour a little bit of wax onto two layers of your wax paper and press your cookie cutters into place. Once they've stuck in place, tilt them several times so that you build up a little bit of a wall of wax within each of the cookie cutters. This is going to help make sure that it's not going to leak when you add the rest of the wax. Once you've completely spread that around and it's had a little bit of time to firm up, you can add the wicks that you pried out of your tea lights or if you prefer use new wicks from the craft store. When that's had a chance to set up, add the rest of your wax and make sure that you press down on your cookie cutters otherwise they could spring a leak. If you spill a little bit of wax, don't worry, it's not going to mess anything up, I promise. Fill them almost all the way to the top, and then if you want to change the color of your wax, you can shave a little bit of crayon using your knife into your container that you're melting the wax in, and then if it's hot enough, just stir it with a toothpick and it will melt right in. If not, you can return it to the double boiler that you made out of your pan. Just make sure that you thoroughly melt all of your pieces of crayon before you pour it. You can also use some white tea lights and simply color them using using your crayons if you don't have any colored tea lights. And then once your candles have had a chance to cool for a few hours, pop them out of their cookie cutters. If any of them have long wicks, trim the wicks and then put them all together on a cute little plate. And that is your finished project. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more Christmas DIYs, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It really helps my videos get seen.